Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the image file to use in this demonstration. Here you can also use video files, now let's see how to create this liquid transition. Create a new composition. Name it as transition. Here I will set time duration to 4 seconds. Make sure width and height is set to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Perfect. Now here we will create a circle shape layer. Select the ellipse tool. Make sure fill is set to solid color. Stroke option is set to none. Here you can set the fill color. I will set it to white. You can set any color of your choice. Now let's create a circle. Press Ctrl plus Shift to create a perfect circle from the center. Perfect. For shape layer. In ellipse path, we will change the size to 300. Now let's position this anchor point to center. While pressing the Y key on your keyboard, position the anchor point to the center of the shape. Now for shape layer 1, press S to bring up scale, at 1 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for scale. At start, change scale to 0%. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur, add it to the adjustment layer. Set blur radius to 65. Set iteration to 1. Now in effects and preset, search for simple choker. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set choke mat to 45. Here I will lock this adjustment layer. Here we need to create multiple duplicates of this shape layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. If you move this duplicate layer, you can see the liquid effect. Here we will create multiple duplicates and then arrange them in such a way that the whole screen is covered with shape. Here I will fast forward it. Make sure all the gaps are filled.
you can see the preview. Here you can see, all the shape layers are viewed at same time. Here we will place this layer randomly on the timeline, you need to position them as shown. Now let's adjust the position of this shape layer randomly. You can see the preview. Here when you are doing it, the output will be different for you, depending on the position of all the shape layer. You can see the different effects. You can also create different size of shapes, to get different and random effects. Perfect. Now let's see how to apply this transition to our media files. Now let's create a new composition. I will name it as slide. For this composition, I will set the time duration to 6 seconds. Now add the media files to the timer line, here you can also use video files. Now add the transition composition to the timer line. For media 1, we will change the track mat to, alpha inverted mat. You can see the effect. For this transition, let's scale this composition to 105%. Perfect. Now again add the transition composition to the timer line, Scale it to, 105%. Now let's create duplicate of this composition, for below transition composition, change track mat to, alpha inverted mat. For the above transition composition, let's move it to just one frame forward. You can see the preview, now we have the outline effect. You can adjust the second media position. Here we need to trim the first layer, after the second image gets revealed. You can trim where the transition composition end or at the end, where our second media file gets revealed. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Similarly, you can add multiple images and transition to create your video. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.